let's wait and get a few people in here. Mm -hmm. We're still a little early. Let's see, she's just late, so we only got two minutes. People are probably. <gasps> uh oh, Mike Hamilton and Brenda are there. Hey guys, give us a couple of minutes. Uh, we're a little bit early. We'll, we'll get started. And Dennis. Joanne Dennis. Kelch and People Cindy are... Slagle yeah. and Dennis. People are coming in too. Alex Coon, welcome all you guys. Your guys are coming in super fast. Yep. One after another. All right. Hope everybody's doing well. We'll give uh, the others another minute or two to join. Danetta's here. And Miss Tracy from church. Brenda, don't. Uh, yeah, that's your cousin Brenda from West Virginia. I don't remember. You do remember her. No, I don't. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't. Okay, you don't. Let's All right. So. Let's dip Oreo. Yeah, that's one of the things we're going to be previewing today. Love you too, Donetta. All righty. We're going to... Uh, hey, make uh, this Yeah, Brenda made you the one quilt oh. you have. Yeah, he uses it from time to time. Jeremy's here. How are you, Jeremy? Something just All right. Funny. Well, it is 7 o'clock, so we're going to go ahead and commence with the festivities. Um, we called it the Ice Ice Baby Edition because here in Northwest Oklahoma, it's icy, um, icy. yeah, it's it's very icy. McKinley had uh, a snow day, an ice day today. Uh, and he doesn't have school tomorrow. And he doesn't have school tomorrow as well. So victory is uh, mine. <laughs> um, the first thing we're going to try out for you guys today. Hey, Dylan, welcome to the show. Our Oreo Thin Bites Fudge Dip, and these are mint flavored. Apparently, they come in a variety of flavors. I so, saw coconut after we purchased these, so but these we're going to try be, these. So, these might be the only fudge dip Oreo bites. No, there's coconut and there's. No, I'm meaning the variety of that the Oreo Thin Bites. Okay, anyway. Um, so we'll we'll let you know how they are. Rod Malloy joined us. Hi, Rod. It's basically a mini mint filled Oreo. I didn't really get that much mint. I don't know what you're eating then. It's a mint flavored Oreo. Yeah. But it doesn't taste any mint. There's mint all over that. That doesn't taste minty to me. Okay. All right, if you say so. Um, yeah. Yeah, I could eat the whole bag. Pretty much. With no problem. Hey, Larry! Tava Ray! Rave Tay, how are you? You don't think you're afraid of me. Mm. Mm. You tell me I don't deserve them. I don't deserve a lot of things. So, if yeah. you remember, I believe our first peep show was what? Mystery Peeps. Mystery Peeps last year about this time. And they're back. And they're back. So, but only this time they're white. There's three flavors. So, we're going to try them. And they're I've all already. They're Go ahead. All white. They're, all white. they're all white. So, they're not giving anything away in the color. I've already had some opinions from some folks who have had these. Y'all crack me up because I've had two or three people come up to me um, just in town or wherever. Hey, did you guys know they have the new mystery peeps at Walmart and are you going to do a show? Mm, they didn't know <laughs> yep. we had them. Miss Twig is here. Hey Twig. Hey. Uh, hey. Pop Pop and who else joined? 
We try to say hi to everybody as y'all join. Oh, we Twig, we're just doing some peeps reviews right now. Um, They're all like peeps. Yep. All that right, time so. I think they were like. All right. Yellowish. No, they were. They were all white. So. Very. It tastes like a normal peep. No. Yeah, it does. Hmm. There's definitely... <sighs> I get almost... This is really going to mm. freak some people out. I get almost a mouthwash mm. taste. Um like a wintergreen and that's one of the things that some folks have mentioned to me um and uh yeah there, there's definitely a minty kind of taste there hey melissa how are you now my opinion is probably way different i think it's a pepper flavored peep a pepper flavored peep okay so <laughs> what when i did it there was black on it well, there's black, but that's the sugar for the eyes. Like. On the inside, though. Mm. When I did that first time, I had some black. No, I think, yeah, I think there's definitely a mint. Um, could be wintergreen. Um, second one, yeah, that, that kind of... Uh, no, actually, I have had second thoughts, so I may agree with you. You should agree with me. I'm always right. <laughs> Right? I'm always right. In between. In between. All right. So we finished with number one. Kind of a, I, I won't say uh, wintergreen is wrong. In fact, I think it might be right. When um, I, the last time we did mystery Oreos, I think, and I don't think I really like them. I'm glad we're back to the pink. Yeah, the mystery Oreos were good. They were different. Yeah. But they were okay. They were disgusting. <laughs> Mr. Brady's here. How are you, Brady? I'm not going to say this is a bubble gum, but I think it's an Oreo flavored pink. Well, you just said bubble gum, and then you said Oreo. No, because they already released bubble gum peep. So no, it's not but it could be a different kind of gum. I'm just going with Oreo. They said I wasn't going to Buddy, there's a fruit flavor there. Mm -mm. Take another bite. You're right. There is I know I'm right. <laughs> I think it's Tutti Fruity flavored peep. Uh, I think you might be right. Um, I've had that, and I've had um, fruit stripe gum. Do you guys remember that from back in the day? They still um, sell it. They um, still sell it. At United, yeah. they still sell it. Okay. Well, then apparently they still sell it. Um, definitely getting that kind of vibe. Tutti Fruity, fruit stripe. Hey, Uncle David. <laughs> we can block people from commenting. Welcome to the show, by the way. <laughs> so there. There's no need to be rude here. So. It's so funny. It's not very funny. Do you want another one? No. Okay. All right, so we agreed that that's probably a tutti frutti or a fruit strike. I've never had to. What? I wanted to get the fruit strike from my mind, but I've never had it. No. They will come out with me probably about May. Well, th these, you can get the mystery packs already. They'll, they'll, no, they should come out with what the flavor is. Yeah. They did yeah. that with Oreo. And they I usually do that about Easter. Now, what, what are you smelling there? 
it doesn't stink. It's just a real strong, strong, uh, fruity kind of smell. Mm. Jason's here, right, Jason? Oh, it's no. It's really good. I'm thinking orange peach. That's pretty. Actually, I think lemon. No, that, that's super sour. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think we were right on the lemon. I think I right on the lemon. Oh man, that's yeah. That's along like warheads or sour patch kids or. I'm agreeing with you on the warheads or sour. Patch. Yeah, yeah, that's. Mm. Yeah, that's got some sour. <laughs> that's got some. Ooh. Not necessarily in a bad way, but you're not expecting that at a peak there. So. Actually, sour patch kids aren't that sour. Either. Yeah, well, so I think we're going to go with wintergreen for the mm -hmm. first one. And then we can't really decide on whether number two is fruit stripe or tutti frutti, although both of those are pretty similar. Um, so we'll go with that. Like the tutti frutti jelly. Which and means to have them in somebody. I, I got them in the wrong order. Sorry about that. Guys. No, I didn't. And then, and then number three. Um, uh, we think it's the sour one. Yeah, if they like sour, uh, get them, get them mystery number three, Jason. <laughs> they'll, they'll roll with that, and then you can get the other two for, for bash there. Um, you all right? You need to go get a drink? <laughs> well, if you go there, don't, don't throw up on air. Go throw up in the trash can. <laughs> I don't think I like the, the number three. Okay, go. Go get a drink or something. <laughs> the problems with live video. Um, what are you trying to do? <laughs> All right. So, um, what's been going on with us? Um, I said we had uh, we had a pretty colder than nor uh, or colder than the previous winters we've spent here. Uh, in northwest Oklahoma. Um, we got ice and snow last night. Um, took us about an hour to drive the 16 miles from church to our house um, uh, just because it was slow going and I figured that was better than sliding off the road. Um, I am helping on stage Woodward uh, this weekend and next. I've been helping this week. Uh, they're going to be putting on Jungle Book Kids. Uh, going to be a really great show. Uh, it's a cast of 70 kids, um, all, I believe, junior high and younger. Um, yeah, you're trying to sneak, you're trying to sneak around. Um, the rehearsals I've been to have been fantastic. Uh, so if you uh, got some time this weekend or next, come check it out. It's going to be at Woodward High School. Um, the last one was at Woodward Middle School. Right. The one McKinley and I were in was at Woodward Middle, Middle School. Sorry. I'll be running sound. And, if you guys had um, missed that, I'm sorry. But wait, we haven't had our cast party yet. Not yet. You have to talk to Mr. Langford about that. So you when, talked when, to him. I already Mr. did. Langford. I already did. What did he say? He blamed, well, you talked to him. I'm not going to get into no, it. No, I'm not in the show. Uh, no, Steve, uh, McKinley is not. He just missed the age cutoff because of the time frame they had for prep. Um, they wanted third grade and up, and he's only in second grade. So but last, uh, hopefully next. But last next. time they wanted eight-year-olds, and I was only a seven-year-old. Yeah, but you were only like, you were like three weeks away from turning eight, and you were eight when the show, when we did the show. So um, I was only her I was only seven. <laughs> Right. Okay. It's not a big deal. We'll, we'll respect what they what they want. So, uh, Miss Teresa joined and Pastor Daniel, how are you? Um, yeah, Jason, I would say definitely come check it out. Uh, bring the boys. I think they'll love it. Uh, and the show's a short one. It's maybe an hour. 
maybe a little more, but uh, a lot of fun, a lot of good music, a lot of good laughs. So, um, yeah, definitely come check it out. Uh, the other thing um, we want to highlight is um, the uh, Crisis Pregnancy Center here in Woodward is doing their annual concert on the 3rd, which is a week from this Saturday. Uh, it will be at the Woodward High School Auditorium as well, um, and it's going to feature Matt Maher, or Matt Marr, I always say his name wrong. Uh, um, but come check that out. Uh, really good music, really good show, and supporting a great cause. Uh oh, look who joined. You already said that. What? Up there when you joined, you said that's the game. Look who else joined. Oh. Who's that? Grandma. Yeah, you, you didn't even say hi to Grandma. Mm -hmm. You're in trouble. You gonna I get it? You gonna get it? Um, Twig, uh, I'll post a link on my Facebook wall when we're done, and it should have, um, if you go there, it should be all the details. I honestly don't know how much. Um, uh, I don't think it's going to be too much. So, um, uh, And Pastor Daniel says this is his favorite Facebook show. So, Thank you. Yeah. Well, we enjoy all our peepers. Um, what we'll call you guys are our, our, our peepers, right? Why? That's what they're doing, peeping, right? And you're, no, you can't eat all those. Mr. No, don't, I don't saw that. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> those are mine. <laughs> they're not yours, they're ours. <laughs> anyway, you guys see? See, see how they're he keeps me? Documenting the abuse. There's actual physical punching there. <laughs> sit down. Sit down. I'm barely hurting you. Mm -hmm. I'm not right. hurting so, you. Anyway, um,. If you're in Northwest Oklahoma and you're traveling tonight, please be careful. Um, I'm sure there are still some icy spots on the road. Um, if you don't have to go anywhere, stay home and watch TV, hang out with your family, play some games, do something. Um, on the East Coast, I know you guys have been having really good weather. Uh, I'm jealous. I heard the cherry blossoms are out already in D.C. Um, it's been so warm, so uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, but uh, again, thank you guys for uh, letting us entertain you for a little bit. We always enjoy it, and uh, we'll be back. Um, Probably around March, because that's when the Yeah, are yeah so sometime around March, if they bring out any new and interesting peak flavors, uh, or if we come across interesting stuff, or if you've got something you want us to try, uh, leave a comment, uh, send me a, a PM, um, leave a, a, a message on my Facebook wall, and we'll certainly try it. Um, now, here's what so, I wanted to do. What? Is I wanted to do 1990 snacks versus 2018 snacks. Yeah, but 1990 snacks are going to be really old and moldy, probably. We can order them on eBay and they still won't be old. <laughs> what? He's trying to kill me. He's I am not trying to kill you. I'm not trying to kill you. <laughs> Alright, well we'll see. We'll see what we've got out there and and and, and see uh, maybe try some of Daddy's favorite snacks versus McKinley's favorite snacks. Alright, so Miss Sherry joined. How are you, Sherry? Um Thank you guys again for watching. Uh, until next time, we'll say peeps out.